guys all put in. I have a story to share. It's ultimately a story about hope. I'm Dan Brady, and like most of us here, I'm sorry. Like most of us here, our lives have been impacted by leukemia. I met this beautiful girl named Amanda with a kind of funny Massachusetts accent, one of our first nights away at college way back in 2000. We quickly became inseparable and eventually married in 2007. On January 17, 2009, my wife and I were in our mid-twenties, excited yet nervous about becoming new parents. We were busy painting baby's room, making trips to Babies R Us, and trying to envision what life would be like and how much I would change when our little girl arrived in late March. We had worked so hard to get to that point and were so excited to be starting a family. We had no idea how much life would really change the very next day. Amanda Brini was 29 weeks pregnant when she found out she had acute lymphoblastic leukemia. We were told to drop everything and come to the hospital. We had to call family, some of the hardest conversations I can ever remember having. We were absolutely in a state of shock. Instead of Gianna being born on March 28th, our doctors determined she would come into the world on January 23rd so Amanda could begin chemo. We were going to beat it though. We always work things out. We were strong, Amanda incredibly so. We spent most of the next month between CCMC and UConn. Amanda creating a very special bond with our daughter who spent the early part of her life in the NICU since she was born so early. While Amanda only leaving to get treatment for leukemia. Cancer sucks. It didn't care that she was a new mom, that we were a new family, that it would crush so many of our hearts for so long. I took Gianna home from UConn Health Center the day after her funeral as a young widower. I was 27. In just over a month, leukemia completely turned our world upside down. I was heartbroken and completely lost. But I told you this was gonna be a story about hope and joy. There was this little mini person sleeping next to me when I got home that screamed every two hours. And it ate, it spit up, it ate some more, it cried, it pooped, and it pooped again. And then it spit up again as soon as I changed her into a clean onesie. And then when she wanted to eat more and more and more, all day, every day, she smiled, she giggled, she wiggled, and she crawled, and she ran. She was my hope, she was my joy. We would figure this out. She would know her mom, she is her mom. Leukemia was not gonna take that away from us. Family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, even strangers, it has taken a village to raise Jenna. Before all this happened, my mom used to warn me, Jenna, you wait, you just wait. I hope you have a kid who acts just like you. Doesn't it stink when they're right? Jenna definitely keeps me on my toes. She always has, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Being a daddy has been my greatest accomplishment. I like to think of this in afterlife, Amanda's watching down, smiling, laughing at me and my hair bun making abilities. I'm proud of what her daughter's grown into. She's beautiful, extremely smart, and can be quite mischievous. She's got her mom written all over her with a little bit of me for the payback I was warned about growing up. We're extremely grateful to have made it here tonight, and I really appreciate you guys standing out there in the rain. It means a lot to us. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society has given us a venue to share our story and help us raise money to support those that are still fighting and will begin their fight every few minutes. It also gives those who have lost loved ones hope and courage. Courage to stand up and hope that one day cancer will be a thing of the past. I think the ultimate goal should someday be that all this goes away. No more walks, no more stories. Thank you for doing your part, helping fundraise and being here to support the cause. And a very special thank you to all my family and friends who have supported us over the years. And lastly, my daughter, Gianna Rose, for being my hope and joy. We will now begin the flower ceremony. Please enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you guys. <laughs> 